Well, I've been doing some work to the 38-year-old uh, pontoon boat. I painted the sides of it. I've uh, redone the deck last year, put in some new seats, uh, one for the captain's chair where me and my wife usually sit when we go out for an evening cruise, and then one where we can sit forward on the front or face them back to back in case we want to have dinner. We can set a table between it. One of the biggest upgrades I did to the boat was I installed a Navy 6.0 uh, electric motor from Teeny Boat Nation. Uh, they took real good care of me and uh, gave, me a, gave me a good deal on the mount board. Uh, this is approximately about 10 horsepower. It's 48 volts and it'll produce up to uh, 6,000 watts of power. This is a big upgrade from the uh, twin five horsepower outboards I put on it back during the COVID epidemic. Uh, I built these back in the year 2000 to fish electric only lakes. Uh, the brushes in them are about worn out and they're not very efficient anymore. So I decided I would try a really nice outboard like the Navy. So this is kind of a walk around the boat. This is uh, the front seat, uh, usually used as a captain's chair, but I kind of liked it so you can have up to four people sitting forward, uh, or if you want to have dinner, uh, you can uh, have two people sitting side by side and put a table in the middle, probably, probably put a seat base in the middle here somewhere. Uh, the back of the boat, just a captain's chair is where my wife and I usually sit. These are the batteries. These are 180 amp hour batteries. Uh, they, uh, they're lithium iron phosphate. Uh, there's 16 of them in the boat for a total of uh, about nine kilowatt hours of power. So what I got back here is a 20 amp 48 volt charger. Uh, this is the main power switch. You turn this on and this will power the boat up from the batteries. And this switch is to power up the, uh, the 6.0 Navy outboard. Um, going to be redoing some of the plates in the dash. These are very old. Uh, this is a, uh, a power meter. Kind of tells you how many watts you're using to power and keeps track of your, uh, your uh, range and stuff. It's also displayed in the Navy control unit, which I really like. Uh, works good on this boat. Uh, well, we're out here on the water. I uh, just had back the boat out. Thought I'd show you how this works. You can bump this in reverse and give it a little throttle and it'll start backing up. You got very good control over the throttle, although the, the uh, input is a little bit touchy on this boat. So you gotta be a little bit careful about hitting the throttle uh, very quickly. It's, it is, can be a little touchy. So here we are in the back of the cove. Uh, I was gonna give you a little shot of how the, uh, the boat looks and performs. Uh, we're just sitting idle now. I'm gonna give it a little bit of throttle. I uh, bumped it up uh, to about, uh, I will go up to about 400 watts or so, I'm almost 500. So for those of you who don't know, that's probably about, uh, uh, what, a three-quarter horsepower, something like that, half to something like that. And we're able to go three miles an hour at this very low power input, which has always impressed me. Uh, you bump the uh, throttle up a little more get it up to about a thousand watts. You get a pretty decent speed going, uh, cruising along. Uh, that's uh, happens to be my dock right there. Uh, we're going probably about, no, oh, about four and a half, 4.6, something like that, miles an hour. Uh, at only a thousand watts, uh, roughly uh, about 1.8 horsepower or so, as you could call it. So it's very efficient. It always boggles my mind that a boat this big and heavy, it's a 20-foot pontoon boat, can uh, go that fast with, uh, with, with just that little bit of power. If you run it up to about 1,500 watts, again, you're getting very little noise out of it. This thing's what I love about these when we're cruising in the afternoon. Uh, we jump up to about, uh, about five and a quarter miles an hour at roughly 1,500 watts. Uh, always impresses me how how nice that can be uh, go up to about 20 well it's almost 3,000 watts there so we doubled the power and we're only up to about six miles an hour so we doubled the power and we gained about a half a mile an hour uh, so that kind of tells you that what's called the hull speed or the displacement hull speed of this boat is probably around five miles an hour uh, what that's where it is it's most efficient uh, when running in displacement mode. Pontoon boats really don't plane, so they just kind of plow through the water anyway. So 
five, six miles an hour is pretty good. If you put it on up to full power, which we're at now, uh, we're putting out uh, solid 6,000 watts of power. Uh, we're up to about seven and a half miles an hour. And this is about what it looks like from the boat. Uh, probably at the power meter, it would only cruise at about an hour and a half or so at this speed, but still gives you some chance to run back in if you got a quick rainstorm. Uh, so uh, kind, of, kind of enjoying the uh, enjoying the afternoon. Normally we run about five, six miles an hour. Uh, gonna put a solar top option on pretty soon. Uh, that'll get us up to about a thousand watts of extra power coming in when the sun's out like this, uh, which will be kind of nice. Uh, it'll be anywhere between 500 and a thousand watts. I'm gonna put probably 1200 watts of solar panels on the boat. That'll be a, a solar canopy about uh, eight foot wide, about 10 feet long, somewhere in that range. Uh, really looking forward to getting the solar option on it. Uh, again, we don't usually cruise at, at uh, six kilowatts, and normally uh, two and a half to three is probably the normal range where we cruise around in the afternoon. Uh, I'm by myself today, which is why the video is kind of, kind of iffy. I apologize for that. But as you can tell, there's virtually no noise. The only thing you hear is the wind and the water. And this is a, this is a gorgeous lake, so we love cruising around in the afternoon. Uh, when we're here during the week, uh, it, we're probably want to be one of the only boats on the lake. This happens to be a Saturday evening. So there's a little bit of boat traffic out here, but uh, nothing like some of the, some of the major lakes in, uh, in Georgia. Uh, again, just cruising along, 2,400 watts. We're going about five and a half miles an hour. And this is kind of the good cruising speed. This is where we just really seem to enjoy the boat the most.